do you also want to create a table, like this, where you can see the sales of a specific product by the salesman and the product name? First, create a table with sales data, like the one I created as an example. Now I am using the XLOOKUP formula. Type the equal sign and write XLOOKUP. Then open a bracket, click on the name cell, type an ampersand, and then click on the product name cell. Type a comma, then select the name range. Press the ampersand. Select all product names, press a comma, and then select all sales. Close the bracket and then press Enter. Select all the data in the table, then go to the Home tab and click on Conditional Formatting. Click on New Rule from the Conditional Formatting menu. Choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Write an AND formula. Start by typing the equal sign, then write AND. Open the bracket, click on the first name cell, remove $1 sign. Then, press the equal sign again and click on the search name cell. Now press the comma, click on the first product name cell, remove $1 sign. Then press the equal sign and click on the search product name cell. Similarly, click on the first sales amount cell, remove the dollar sign, press the equal sign, and then click on the search sales amount cell. Finally, Close the bracket, click on Format to choose a fill color, and then press OK. Now, to create a drop down, simply click on the search name cell, then go to the Data tab. Next, click on Data Validation. A dialog box will appear, and choose List from the options. Then, select the source field and enter the range of values you want to appear in the drop-down list. And then, press OK. Now you can see that the drop-down list has been created in the selected cell. Repeat this process again by selecting the product cell. Go to Data. Click on Data Validation. A dialog box will appear. Choose List and enter the source range to create another drop-down list. After selecting the range, press OK to apply the drop-down list. You can easily change the name and product, and the corresponding sales data will be displayed automatically. That's it! You've now successfully created drop-down lists and applied conditional formatting. The practice file link is available in the description. Please like and follow for daily tips and tricks.